Yo guys, awesome chess blunderer here, and today I have a game between that's played between um Nikita Vitrigov and Jan Chistov Duda. Um, it was played three days ago in um, Prague, playing the Prague Chess Festival, and yeah, uh, Nikita Vitrigov got first place, and I'll show you more about the results later. So um, yeah, let's start out the game off. So um, Nikita has the white pieces, and he starts off with e4. Jan Chistov responds with c5. The Sicilian defense. Knight f3, d6, d4. Knight takes, knight. I mean, c takes d4, knight takes d4. Knight f6, knight c3. Now a6, the Nyrofelli variation. a4, just to preventing um, b5 expansion here and also uh, preparing to push a5 in the future. Um, g6, just preparing to fear and bishop earlier. Bishop e2, bishop g7, bishop e3. Knight c6, castle, castles, queen d2, pro um, preparing to use the queen bishop battery to assault, um, to go to um, h6 just to um, get rid of this um, strong bishop. Knight takes, bishop takes, now um, white's unable to do that unless if he wants to waste a move. Now bishop um, e6, um, h5, just preventing... Um, Preventing b5 with on percent. Oh, yeah, a5 earlier. Sorry, preventing b5. So, uh, rook c8, just going on this semi open file. Um, rook a4, nice rook lift. Um, it's just preparing the rook's preparing to go to uh, b4, just attack this pawn. Rook c6, preparing for a rook lift, just a minute in the future after like something like. Queen down, queen to um, queen to d7. So um, f4, queen d7, rook b4, attacking this pawn. And now rook c f c8, bishop d3, just protecting this pawn because um, these two rooks are putting a lot of pressure on this pawn. Bishop c4, just attacking, trying to get rid of the defender right here. Now h3. Bishop takes d3 and queen takes d3. I mean, like, b c takes d3 is also fine here. Like, you could get your um, pawn out of the um, double rook attack, but it seems um, Nikita's idea is queen takes d3. Now, e5 expanding on the center. Bishop e3. He takes f4. Bishop takes f4. And now, this pawn sort of backwards pawn. Um, Yeah, you gotta move your queen away because. Yeah, it's not defended enough. For example, if um, rook if he gets to play um, what gets to play rook to um d1 next, this pawn is gonna be in a lot of trouble. So yeah, um, black plays queen to c7. Now king h1. Oh, uh, queen to c7 was to target this pawn, and king h1. Normally the Sicilian just wants to play king h1 just to get out of this diagonal from this queen. So yeah, um. It has a lot of use, useful clues. Um, and if you take on um, if you take on a5, then I'll take on b7. If yeah, now b5. Um, just expand. Um, a takes b6 on percent. Rook takes b6. Rook takes b6. Queen takes b6. Bishop takes on b6. Now yeah, just preparing to play e5. Um, e5. Um, in the future, and also um. Yeah, preparing to play e5, kicking the knight away, and then um, queen to um, d5, and yeah, just targeting this f7 pawn. So, this, the best move right here would have been knight to e8, yeah, and um, yeah, and followed by e5, then queen takes b2, but um, you know, just off do that, uh, decides that b2 pawn is not a poison pawn, so he decides to take it. Now, knight to d5 is played. Just attacking this knight, putting some pressure, and yeah, um, also getting this knight out of this um, double attack here. So, and here you can you can take with your rook here, but you can't really take with your queen because of um, because of knight takes f6, bishop takes f6, queen takes c2, rook takes c2, rook takes f6, and you've won a piece. So you don't really want that. So um, instead you play you play rook takes c2. And um, yeah, now 
bishop to h3's play here. But that's a better move that will like result in a better um, end game for um, white here. Like it's a quicker move to finish your opponent off. Um, white to move, and can you guess the move? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Three, two, one. The move is um, knight takes on um, f f6, and bishop takes on f6, and now e5. And the bishop can't really takes on e5 because if he takes, then bishop takes, queen takes, and this rook is now undefended as queen takes c2. And e5 is just a really strong move here, um, like. Yeah, it's it's just a, you just gotta push the pawn next, and also um, also yeah, you're just attacking this, you're attacking f6. So yeah, I mean, yeah, the bishop on f6 because you block the queen defend from defending f6. So, yeah. so you don't really want that. So you play bishop here, but instead um, white played bishop h3 here. Now queen to b5. And it's saying if um if you want to take my rook, then I'll just take your rook, and I'll um I have a better position. So yeah, um you don't really want that. So knight takes on f6 is played. Bishop takes, queen takes on b5, a takes on b5, rook takes on f6, winning a piece, and now um b4, just giving up a pawn just to win back a pawn. So um bishop takes on b4, like it's playing the which is playing the game, then you have rook to c4. Just um, blocking the bishop and the pawn, and yeah, but instead, um, black played um, rook c1 check first, king to h2, rook to c4. Now, um, yes, attacking these two, 